Hey, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. Well, in the last few videos I've talked a lot about uh, this little standalone system over here uh, with the Power Queen 200 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. I've been using it in many demonstrations, have run uh, the full size refrigerator off of it many times, uh, many other things. Uh, it, everything in this system continues to work absolutely perfectly. Uh, drew it down to about 80% earlier today and it's charging back up. 87.8% full. So it's on its way to a, a nice full charge even after uh, cycling the, the top 20% of that earlier today. And this will continue to be used in a, a, a many different ways out here, especially in the workshop. And then what it did was give way for the power wall to increase in size. Um, and this is just about done. Just got a couple more uh, holes to drill through the wall, tie in the, the Victron MPPT7515. That's what's going to run this little separate standalone system. So all I have to do now is just run in my solar panel cables into this isolator switch. Uh, I'm probably going to put that Victron about right there. Um, not totally sure on that yet, but I'm going to get it figured out here in a few minutes. But this is going to be a standalone charging station only. I have the need to have a separate system just for charging batteries, uh, for the, moving them around to different usages. And one of the things that I really like about, uh, of course, the lithium being so light, uh, with these fully charged batteries, you can pick them up, move them around on your property, tie in a a little inverter and uh, do some power tooling if you need to out and away from the home without carting a gas generator around. So that's what this is going to be out here is a, a separate charging station. Uh, I did show you this particular inverter on an earlier video. Been using it quite a bit as well. It's working just fine. Got the bus bars, fuses, and switches all in there. And the last thing I'll do, of course, I always like to work backwards when when uh, building one of these little systems. So basically from the inverter to the batteries. And the, the batteries, of course, are not hooked up yet. That'll be the very last thing that I do. But I've got my cables back there just so I can see about where I want the batteries to be able to be getting charged at in here. So that's what I'm going to do with this is just have a charging station. Uh, the other one is I'm using to run everything out in the shop and it's working great. And then I like to have this little uh, watt meter on here so I can see what appliances are pulling what and then also for demonstrations to uh, I can show you guys. So yeah, this was a, is just a great little system and I just copied it on a little bit smaller scale. So I'll have 1500 watts. I'm just gonna tie in uh, two 100 watt panels to this and that'll charge these up, uh, these little 100 amp hour uh, lithium batteries uh, plenty fast enough for my usages. I just wanna be able to always be charging some batteries and be able to move them around. So the power wall continues to grow. Pretty excited about that. It's looking good. A lot of the same things I'm using uh, over again in this small system. I'm definitely uh, got this uh, shunt in here, battery monitor shunt, same one I use over there, same one I use on the, the main house bank. I might have jumped the gun a little bit on this for mounting it on the wall. 
I think I'll still be able to get in here and hook up those very small gauge wires. Uh, just enough room for me to do that. If I have to, I'll just take it off the wall and do it. But anyway, it's all laid out. I'm going to be pretty excited to have just a separate charging station. Can always just be charging some batteries. So just about done. I'll have that in there this afternoon and up and charging. Yeah, I like that. I like the way it flows on this wall. It's perfect wall. It might continue to grow. These things have a tendency to do that. Wake up in the morning, they're bigger than they were when you went to bed. So, yeah, that's how it's, that's how it's gonna be. Just love it. The workshop over here has everything uh, that I need for working in here and then a separate charging station. So one of the other things I wanted to show you guys that I'm uh, using and liking a lot is uh, where I'm having to come in through the wall uh, with these solar panel cables. You just drill a hole in there and then I'm using one of these, uh, you know, pass through covers where you can get your wires going in there and then these tighten down and seal tight around the wires or your solar cables so nothing can get in there no little teeny ant or anything and we do have some extremely small uh, little fire ants out here that can barely be seen with the naked eye so I really wanted that to be sealed off so there was no way for them to uh, crawl up these cables which they do and then it seals real nicely on the side nothing nothing can get in there you could also just put a little bead of silicone around that but they're really nice way to you know cover up a hole in the wall and they work extremely well got a few of these around now too i'm really glad uh that I got these pretty inexpensive and uh, really cleans up the wires going into the house. And one of the other things I wanted to mention, I like how uh, this is on that uh, Power Queen uh, setup out here in the shop. Uh, Everything is nicely covered. These bus bars, they all come with a cover when you're done uh, making all your connections. Uh, and I like that. All the switches uh, have a little protection rubber uh, connection protection device on the uh, terminal bolt that might be exposed. Everything except these monitors, uh, you know, these Eile or Q Wark, whatever they're called, they go by different names on Amazon. They're all the same appearing uh, shunt. But, you know, due to my earlier uh, shock hazard I had uh, last year, I, I really don't like seeing this much exposed uh, connections in the system. So I'm going to manufacture my own cover to fit over that. I, I wish that they would make that like so many other products make things to cover up. You know, this is nice. You know, no accidental contact is going to happen. There, I feel a little vulnerable on those. I'm going to change, like I said, just make myself my own cover for that. I'll do the same further down the wall on this one because I really do like uh, these battery monitors. They work fantastic. But I'd rather see everything covered up. Now in the back, <laughs> and this is the infamous uh, monitor that caused me some problems on another system. I've got it all taped up back there, but I don't like that. I'm just going to make a, a cover and I'll show you guys what I come up with. I've got a couple of ideas that I think will be pretty nice. So I just wanted to share that with you guys little standalone just charging station pretty happy love the power wall 
aloha.